In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. We celebrate this evening, Stations at the Cross, with St. Joseph, today being the Feast of St. Joseph this year. So let us pray. Loving and merciful God, we thank you for your goodness and daily blessings. We ask you to be with us as we walk through the way of the cross. Enlighten our minds and hearts to meditate upon the Paschal mystery. Give us courage to imitate the obedience and faith of your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Amen. The first station, Jesus condemned to death. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you. A third time, Pilate said to the crowd, Why, what evil has he done? I have found in him no ground for the sentence of death. I will therefore have him flogged and then release him. But they kept demanding with loud shouts that he should be crucified, and the voices prevailed. So Pilate gave his verdict that their demand should be granted. He released the one they asked for, the man who had been put into prison for insurrection and murder, and handed Jesus over as they wished. Reflection. Jesus was born to die, and now begins those steps to our salvation and redemption. St. Joseph knew, to some extent, that this would one day happen because Simon prophesied this in the temple. Behold, the child is destined for the fall and rise of many in Israel and to be a sign that will be contradicted. We know that as Joseph died and our Lord died one day, we too will close our eyes in death. Dear St. Joseph, please pray for us that we may receive the grace of a happy and holy death. O Jesus, who for love of me did bear the cross to Calvary, in your sweet mercy grant to me to suffer and to die with thee. Second station, Jesus takes up his cross. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you. By your holy cross, you have redeemed the world. Jesus called the crowd and his disciples and said to them, If anyone, any want to become my followers, let them deny themselves and take up their cross and follow me. For those who want to save the, their life, their life will lose it. And those who lose their life for my sake and for the sake of the gospel will save it. A cross is handed to Jesus. And now he'll carry it on his shoulders to the top of Calvary. St. Joseph was a carpenter. Some artistic depictions of Jesus in the carpenter's shop. Imagine him making a cross out of wood. The cross in these stations was not made by Jesus, but it is the one that now he picks up, accepts, and makes his own as he carries it. Dear St. Joseph, Help us to accept the crosses of life that we are handed. O Jesus, who for love of me did bear the cross to Calvary, in your sweet mercy grant to me to suffer and to die with thee. The third station, Jesus falls for the first time. 
We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you. Because by your holy cross you have have redeemed redeemed the the world. Yet it was our pain that he bore, our sufferings he endured. We thought of him as stricken, struck down by God and afflicted. But he was pierced for our sins, crushed for our iniquity. He bore the punishment that makes us whole. By his wounds we were healed. Reflection. As Jesus walks with the cross, the weight becomes too much for him, and he falls for the first time. St. Joseph, who took Jesus as his own, remembered that first fall of Jesus, any parent does, as they took look on and see the hurt and pain of their child for the first part of his life. Jesus had Joseph, who could come to his aid, and now Mary, nearby, looks on and wishes to console her son. Dear Saint Joseph, in our stumbles in life, be an intercessor for us. O Jesus, who for love of me did bear the cross to Calvary, in your sweet mercy grant to me to suffer and to die with thee. The fourth station, Jesus meets his sorrowful mother. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you. Gospel according to Luke. Simon blessed him and said to his mother Mary, This child is destined for the the falling and the rising of many in Israel, and to be a sign that will oppose, so this that the inner thoughts of many will be revealed, and a sword will pierce your soul too. Mary, close by, finds her son, and mother and son lock eyes. The glance of Jesus consoles her suffering heart, if only for a moment. By the announcement and power of the Holy Spirit, Mary conceived Jesus in her womb, and on the first Christmas morning, mother and son met, her eyes full of joy at seeing her new newborn child, with St. Joseph not far away from the manger. But now she is there alone, without her spouse, to share in this sorrowful moment. Dear St. Joseph, be present to families who encounter the illnesses and sorrows of their loved ones. O Jesus, who for love of me did bear the cross to Calvary, in your sweet mercy grant to me to suffer and to die with thee. The fifth station, Simon Serene, helps Jesus to carry his cross. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you. As they led him away, they seized a man, Simon of Cyrene, who coming in from the country. They laid the cross on him and made him carry it behind Jesus. Reflection. The Roman soldiers conscribe a bystander to help Jesus 
for a few brief moments. Jesus needed the help of his father, Joseph, who listened to the words of an angel. In a dream, fled into Egypt, Joseph protected Jesus during his infancy, when even then someone wanted to put him to death. Dear St. Joseph, ask the Lord to send us the people we need when we need them most. O Jesus, who for love of me did bear the cross to Calvary, in your sweet mercy grant to me to suffer and to die with thee. Sixth station, Veronica wipes the face of Jesus. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you. Because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. He had no form or majesty, though we should look at him, nothing in his appearance that we should desire him. He was despised and rejected by others, a man of suffering, knowing pain. As one from whom others hide their faces, he was despised, and we held him in no esteem. Reflection. Veronica, a woman looking from the crowd, sees the blood and sweat falling down Jesus' face. She washes, wishes to do something. So she takes a cloth and presses it up against his face. Consider the care and love of St. Joseph for Jesus as a child. With fatherly love, he attended to Jesus' wounds. With the father's touch, he wiped the tears of Jesus. Dear St. Joseph, pray for us that we be more aware of those who need help. O Jesus, who for love of me did bear the cross to Calvary, in your sweet mercy grant to me to suffer and to die with thee. The seventh station, Jesus falls the second time. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you. Holy oh, cross, you have redeemed the world. Seized and condemned, he was taken away. Who could have imagined his future? For he was cut off from the land of the living, stricken for the transgression of my people. Though he had done no wrong, there was deceit found in his mouth. Reflection. A second time, the cross comes too heavy. Slowly and surely, Jesus picks up the cross and again continues on his way. A third visit from an angel tells St. Joseph it is safe to return home from Egypt. Think of what it must have been like for St. Joseph as he returned to Nazareth. His return to daily life was an act of trust. When I fall in my life, I need greater trust in the Lord's plans for me. Dear St. Joseph, help us to trust in God like you did. O Jesus, who for love of me did bear the cross to Calvary, in your sweet mercy grant to me to suffer and to die with thee.
the eighth station, Jesus meets the women of Jerusalem. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you. From the Gospel according to Luke. A number of people followed him, and among them were women who were beating their breasts and wailing for him. Jesus turned to them and said, Daughters of Jerusalem, do not weep for me, but weep for yourselves as for, and for your children, for the days are surely coming when they say, Blessed are the barren and the wombs that never bore and the breasts that never nursed. Then they said, will say to the mountains, Fall on us, and to the hills, cover us. For if they do this when the wood is green, what will happen when it is dry? Jesus speaks to the gathered women. As he expresses these words during his passion, we can only imagine what he shared with St. Joseph during the hidden years at Nazareth. Surely his words then taught, healed, and consoled his father. Dear St. Joseph, pray for us that the words Jesus speaks might transform and change our hearts. O Jesus, who for love of me did bear the cross to Calvary, in your sweet mercy grant to me to suffer and to die with thee. The ninth station. Jesus falls for the third time. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you. Because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. We had all gone astray like sheep, all following our own way. But the Lord laid upon him the guilt of us all. Though harshly treated, he submitted and did not open his mouth. Like a lamb that is led to the slaughter, or a sheep silent before its shearers, he did not open his mouth. Reflection. Jesus falls a third time under the weight of the cross. Maybe life seemed heavy at times for St. Joseph. Maybe he did not understand everything that was happening in his life. In the temple, after being lost for three days, Jesus tells his parents he must be about his father's business. Jesus was lost. Joseph seeking to understand. St. Joseph had a lifetime to understand the mysteries of the kingdom. Dear St. Joseph, pray for us that we may gain wisdom and understanding of the divine. O Jesus, who for love of me did bear the cross to Calvary, in your sweet mercy, Grant to me to suffer and to die with thee. The tenth station, Jesus is stripped of his garments. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you. From the Gospel according to John. When the soldiers had crucified Jesus, they took his clothes and divided them into four parts, one for each soldier. They also took his tunic. Now the tunic was seamless, woven in the piece 
from his top. In birth, a child is born naked, only to be clothed by his parents. And now Jesus in death is stripped of his garments. The cloak he wore, perhaps woven by Mary, his mother. As an infant, the Christ child needed to be tended to. Most certainly St. Joseph attended to his needs. Now as the hour of torture and death approaches, he is prepared for death by the hand of someone else. Dear St. Joseph, tend to our wounds, intercede for us, that we might be clothed in the love of God. O Jesus, who for love of me did bear the cross to Calvary, in your sweet mercy, grant to me to suffer and to die with thee. The eleventh station, Jesus is nailed to the cross. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you. When they came to the place that is called the skull, they crucified Jesus there with the criminals, one on his right and one on his left. Then Jesus said, Father, forgive them, for they do not know what they are doing. Reflection. Jesus' body is pierced with nails, blow after blow, until he is raised above the earth. These nails are not the carpenter's nails, familiar to, jo to Joseph and Jesus. They are nails of torture. They are the nails of our salvation. Dear St. Joseph, help us to be silent so we may never crucify anyone by our words. O Jesus, who for love of me did bear the cross to Calvary, in your sweet mercy grant to me to suffer and to die with thee. Twelfth station, Jesus dies on the cross. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you. By your holy cross, you have redeemed the world. The Gospel according to Luke. It was now about noon, and darkness came over the whole land until three in the afternoon. While the sun's light failed, and the curtain of the temple was torn in two, then Jesus, crying with a loud voice, said, Father, into your hands I commend my spirit. Having said this, he breathed his last. When the centurion saw what had taken place, he praised God and said, Certainly this man was innocent. St. John tells us that Mary stood beneath the cross of Jesus. Mary experiences another death of someone she loves. First, her parents relatives, St. Elizabeth and Zechariah, then St. John the Baptist, but closest to her, St. Joseph, and now her son.
by Jesus entrusting of Mary to St. John, we know that Joseph had already passed from this life. As Jesus draws his last breath, let us recall the last breath of St. Joseph, who died in the company of Mary and Jesus. Dear St. Joseph, watch over families who have experienced a loss, recent or otherwise. Be with widows and widowers, comfort the bereaved. O Jesus, who for love of me did bear the cross to Calvary, in your sweet mercy grant to me to suffer and to die with thee. The thirteenth station. Jesus is taken down from the cross. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you. Because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. After these things, Joseph of Arimathea, who was a disciple of Jesus, though a secret one because of his fear of the Jews, asked Pilate to let him take away the body of Jesus. Pilate gave him permission, so he came and removed his body. Nicodemus, who had first come at night to Jesus, also came, bringing a mixture of myrrh and aloes, weighing about a hundred pounds. They took the body of Jesus and wrapped it with the spices in linen cloths, according to the burial custom of the Jews. Reflection. As Jesus is taken down from the cross, he also descends to the depths depths neither world. He breaks the prison bars of death, leading forth Adam, Eve, Abraham, and Moses, the prophets, but most especially his dear father, Saint Joseph. By his death, he gave life its all. He awaited salvation and redemption. Now the gates of eternal paradise are open. Dear St. Joseph, please pray for our families and friends who are still in purgatory. By your prayers and those of Mary, may they soon come to enjoy the vision of heaven. O oh Jesus, who for love of me did bear the cross to Calvary, in your sweet mercy grant to me, grant to me to suffer and to die with thee. The 14th station, Jesus is led in the tomb. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you. the gospel according to John. Now there was a garden in the place where he was crucified, and in the garden there was a new tomb in which no one has ever been laid. And so, because I, it was the Jewish day of partition, and the tomb was nearby, they laid Jesus there. From his infancy, his death already was foreshadowed. The king's gift of myrrh anticipated this day of burial. Received first by Joseph and Mary, now the body of Jesus has been anointed, and for three days 
Christ sanctifies the tomb for all who believe in him. Let us not forget that wherever St. Joseph might have been buried, Jesus would have visited that tomb too. Dear St. Joseph, pray for us as we draw our dying breath. O Jesus, who for love of me did bear the cross to Calvary, in your sweet mercy grant to me to suffer and to die with thee. For the intentions of our Holy Father, our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and never shall be, world without end. Amen. We thank you, Lord Jesus, for allowing us to walk these stations with you. Thank you also for giving us, Joseph, your Father, as our intercessor in our time of need. As we journey our own way of the cross, for the years ahead. We all remember that we have St. Joseph, whose help we can turn to in imitation of you, our dear Saviour, and of your Blessed Mother. Amen. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen.